Now we have seen that how can we add formatted text in the body of the email and we have also seen that how can we add table in the body. Now we would see that let's say we have data in the range for example range from A1 till D15 and I want that entire range to be copied as a table in the Outlook email. Okay, so we have this standard code that we have written earlier as well. I just need to place HTML body. But the point is how would I be converting this range to HTML. So for that I will go to this website by Ron De Bruyne and I will search for a function which he has written for converting range to HTML. So I copy this function and I will also explain to you what we are doing in this function. What you need to do is you just copy it here and paste in your code after the sub procedure. So now in total we have the sub procedure that we were writing and this function. Let us see what we are doing in this function. So this function takes range as input and then it creates a temporary file. You see here the declarations are related to file system and it is going to create a temporary workbook. Okay. The path it is picking from environment variables and in the temporary folder it is creating a file with current timestamp and the extension of the file is HTML. Then it copies the range it adds a workbook okay and then it pastes the content that you have selected or given this function as input okay so so far we have created a temporary file we have copied the data and we have pasted it in that temporary file now we would be publishing this temporary file as html now you can also check this manually when you go to excel and when you go to file and save you can let's say create a new workbook and paste the data and then you go to save as and you can save your file with the extension HTML. So this is what we are doing in the code. Here we are publishing or exporting our file as HTML. Now that file would be converted into HTML format and then we can pick the HTML portion by reading that file as text stream. So we are reading it as text stream. And then we are just doing some minor replacements that we wanted to do and then the function returns that HTML value and we are consuming that value in the code. So this is what is happening with the function that we have copied from the source. All we need to do here in our code is we just put a tag HTML body and that would be range to HTML the function that we have copied here and we need to give the range that we want to use. So this is not the file. This was the file that I have shown to you as a temporary file. So this is the actual file. Now the range is from A1 till D15. So you can see it also has some formatting. It has text in black and the headers are having orange background and the text color is white. Okay. So if I run this, you will see that exactly same table is generated in the Outlook email body as well. So this is how you can copy a range to the email body okay now let's say you also want to add some text along with this range so all you can do is you can just concatenate it with the string that you want to add for example hello team and then i add a new line and then we can add hello here is the data or whatever message you want to print i just need to take care of this concatenation symbols and now if i run this you would see that we have this text in this way Okay, remember that we added VB new line, but VB new line doesn't work in HTML body. So we need to replace it with BR tag. So it will work in that way. So this is all about having a range copied to your mail body.